Hey Inventor users, so we're going to look at an add-on called iCheckIt that we offer from Tata Technologies. In this example we have a flange detail and there's a mid-plane that was created and we don't want to have this mid-plane visibility turned on in all of our assemblies, um, cluttering up the visibility of our parts and assemblies. Um, and one way to do this, to make sure that we always have this turned off, is to use the checker that we have called iCheckIt. Now this is just a simple example, but this is one part with one work plane that's turned on, and we want to make sure that our users are always making sure that these particular work planes are always turned off. Uh, so we're going to go to the check I check it tab, and this is the add-on for Autodesk Inventor from Tata Technologies. And first off, we're going to go to the administrator. So in the administrator window, we have the library of dictionaries. Uh, these dictionaries are all the pre-set up checks that are available for iCheckIt. We're going to expand the part one and we're going to go down to presentation and we're going to find the check for work feature visibility forbidden. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new standard and then we can drag and drop this check definition into our new standard. So now we have a standard that has a check that's been added to it. And we're going to go ahead and we'll save this standard. We'll call this one work plane. And then we can go ahead and we can close the administrator. If we go to the monitor, so this is what actually does the checking. We'll go, we'll select our standard. We created it as work plane. And then we'll just go ahead and click apply to start the check. So you notice that we have um, one failed, and that's our mid plane work plane. And we can go ahead and right from here we can select enforce and notice that it automatically turned off the visibility of that work plane. Just as simple as that. Let's back up a little bit. We'll turn that work plane back on. And let's say we have some other work planes that happen to be turned on. Turn the visibility of these origin planes. So in this case, let's say we only wanted this one mid-plane work plane. So this is a work plane that's been named, uh, but we want to have the origin planes left on. We'll go back to the administrator. And we'll open up that work plane standard that we created. If we double click on this check, we get some property requirements. If we go to candidates, here we have additional options. So we can select either from work planes, work accesses, work points, and then we can do an advanced selection. So on this work plane, we'll select advanced selection and we can then do an included name filter or an excluded name filter. So we'll put in mid plane and then select OK. And then we'll select OK to confirm that and we'll make sure that we save our standard. Now if we go back and run our monitor, again we have our work plane standard. We'll select apply. And notice that we still only get that one fail. The other two work accesses, the XY and the YZ plane, aren't selected here. Again, we can select enforce. And just that one work plane that we've determined in our check is turned off on the visibility. The other origin planes or other work planes would be ignored by this check. All right, let's back up again, and we'll just look at this in an assembly. So we just have a simple assembly here, and we're just going to assume that we have these flange details all over the place, that we don't want the visibility of that mid-plane turned on, but we do want the origin planes turned on in this particular assembly file. We want to select all candidates, make sure that our standard is set, and then we want to select cascade down through assembly. This will go down through the assembly and check all the parts, not just the assembly level. We'll select apply, 
and notice we get that failed condition on that midplane. If we select it in the monitor, they're highlighted within the graphics window so you can easily see what items failed. We'll select Enforce, and those midplane work planes are turned off. When we're done, we can run a report, and we'll get a report indicating that we had one pass candidate, and our part is passed and ready to go. That's just one example of how to use iCheckIt to ensure that your company standards are being followed. If you want more information on the iCheckIt product, go to myicheckit.com. For more videos like these, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell notification to get notified when new videos are posted.